Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and all you beaver lovers out there in the world. We are back at the main track to do some main line review. We got a couple of cars lined up fresh out of the pack. Yep, it's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proven Rounds. Main line review, like we said, these are the twins of the super treasure hunts oh yeah folks these cars are the ones that hot wheels selected to be treasure hunts are they fast enough to take on the mainline review champ we're gonna see here on beaverworks diecast racing Vehicles. hot wheels 68 mercury cougar 7 out of 10 from the 2022 Muscle Mania series, fresh out of the pack. There's been 22 versions since 2014, and its brother was a super treasure hunt. It's got the wheels, it's got the weight, see what it does. Hot Wheels, 55 Chevy Bel Air. 1 out of 5 from the 2022 Chevy Bel Air series, I guess there was a series about it. 27 versions since 2006, and again, its twin was a super treasure hunt. Little light, let's hope it does good. Guest drivers this week, we've got Lobotomy from Sparks Racing going to be taking up Mercury Cougar and Big Mike from NZ Racing in the 55 Chevy. They are up against the Igloo main track, folks. This is our multi-manufactured, multi-surface with a jump cam in the middle of it. It's got a flatbed cam at the end of it, but we are in two-car format. No points, best two out of three wins. All right, let's do this. Race one. one. Classic Hot Wheels head-to-head -head racing going out of the couple of monster cars here. We've got Big Mike going up against Lobotomy. Chevy going up against uh, Mercury. Here they go. They're off the line, and uh, uh, Mercury is gone. That uh, Bel Air is just sitting by that Mercury. man is flying. Look at that thing. Lobotomy's just taking right off. He's coming across by the 10.07 and going for a flatbed. He did went right over top of it. Just about had it. How uh, beautiful. We're looking for the extra point, but this is two-car format, folks. But still, you can make it look awesome. Him, and you'll get lots of replays. That was beautiful from Lobotomy on that run right there. And there's the 55 Chevy. Big Mike didn't make it all the way down. We were wondering about that car. It's kind of a uh, kind of light. Don't know why uh, it ended up being a treasure hunt, but uh, there it is. First run, and it didn't quite make it all the way down to the bottom. But we had Lobotomy just flying in that Cougar. That was great looking stuff. Let's go check out the jump cam and uh, getting some distance on there. 20.5 centimeters on the jump cam. Not really counting. Bragging rights only this time. Bel Air didn't even make it over the jump. All right, let's check out what happened here. Look at the car lengths that that Mercury is pulling right out of the start right there. Man, we got a. We're gonna have to say sorry to Big Mike on that one. We just get these things out of the pack. We don't know what the performance is gonna be, and this Cougar is something to remember, folks, because it's pulling off an excellent performance. Not bad at all for fresh out of the pack and lobotomy. He's doing a great job piloting that thing through the air and just about plants it on the flatbed. That car has definitely got the potential to pull that one off. All right, there it is, race number one. Mercury Cougar gets it with a sweet time. Score is now 1-0. Race, race two. two. Back up top of the mountain, we're going to be doing a lane switch this time. We got the Mercury on lane number one, Chevy on lane number two. Let's see how they do this time. All right, off the start, and that Mercury is gone. Wow, look at that lobotomy. He's just taking that thing. That Chevy is not even in sight. We got lobotomy doing a little victory donut already before he's over top of the line. 11.58, and he was just cruising on that one right there. Looks like Big Mike didn't make it down again. That 55 Chevy is just not set up for the main drag. There he is. Yep, he's on his lid. Didn't make it down to the 3D bot maker corner. There's Lobotomy. He's pulling a loop right there. And then, uh, yep, yep, Big Mike. He's on his lid. That's it. All right, folks. Great looking race right there. Let's go check out some ramp cam. Get some distance on that Cougar. And he's flying in. Pulls in 20 centimeters this time. 0.5 centimeters less than last time. And again, Bel Air didn't make it into the shot. You've got to be in the shot to get a shot on the ramp cam and that's just the way it is folks and there it is look at that there's got to be like eight car lengths in between the two of them before they are off the first stretch that is like a completely stock 55 bel air with like a 
289 in them or something like that. And it's just not cutting it with a great big huge horsepower coming out of that. Cougar blowing a donut right there. Lobotomy loving every second of that. Sparks racing down over the top of the line. He's going to be getting this series two out of three and going to be getting the shot at the mainline review champ. Folks, there it is. The Mercury Cougar. Lobotomy. Sparks racing two out of three over top of the Chevy. And that's going to wrap it up for that part. He gets it. He's going to be getting the shot, like we said, at that Jaguar XJ220. Jimmy Pinkeye going to be doing it. And there's that 55 Chevy. Big Mike, thanks for coming out. NZ Racing. Lobotomy is going to get his shot at Jimmy Pinkeye in the final. There's that cool matchbox with the rubber wheels, 70th anniversary. Folks, Beaverworks is doing a poll over on the community tab of the space, and we want to find out what you guys want for the next mail-in tournament. It could be a fat track. It could be the rock drop jump. It could be the stone road challenge or the pebble path. you got to vote or all freaking four. We're going to try that one out. If you want to try that, and it looks like it's getting most votes so far, next mail-in tournament, get over and vote. Hey kids, in case you forgot to tell your mom, Beaverworks has got a merch store and we're getting better at creating some new designs like this one for the Stone Road Challenge, our heavy off-road course here at the Igloo Proving Grounds and another new design in our big booming Quake 3 voice. Die or die fast, die fast, race. Tell me that doesn't take you back, eh? All right, there it is on a shirt. There it is on a sticker. All sorts of different swag it's going to be available on, as well as the original flaming beaver head. Don't forget that one. The Beaver Works Merch Store. We get a cut, you get some dope merch. Spread Shop does all the work. The world is a happy place. Link is going to be in the description for the Beaverworks store, or you can just scroll down to the bottom of the video, and we got a bunch of items listed down there. The Beaverworks store. Go check it out and help the channel out. Race one. Jimmy Pinka, he is like the seven-time champ. This car is hard to beat, and it's going to be the bottom. He's going up against him this time. Jimmy War against the Mercury. Here we go. This is that champ, and look at the two of them are neck and neck all the way down. We start that Mercury doing with that Chevy, and now the Jaguar's out front. Does a little spin right there, and it's uh, it's uh, it's like he almost stopped. With. Where'd they go? And there they are. They're coming down over top of the line. They're smashing into each other. It almost looked like Jimmy pulled over there, and it's like they had some. Words couldn't tell they're chatting with each other past the windows there. We are talking about two die-cast legends here. They got Jimmy Pinkeye in one car. We got Lobotomy in the other car. They know each other for sure. Look at that. They're coming down the mid-stretch. Jimmy blows it around. He's looking right back at each other. Uh, right there. It's like a little bit of a little bit of a driver's side to driver's side contact right there. There might have been some contact in the contact. They chat with each other and then they're banging around. That was a sweet looking race. Anyways, let's check out some jump cam. 12 centimeters for the Jaguar. They were both kind of rubbing and racing all the way down the first section. And then you got Lobotomy coming through a little bit crooked. Nine centimeters in the Mercury. Ha! I love that there, uh, jump cam. Anyways, check out some Eagle replay. You can tell that Jaguar's pulling out a little bit, but that Cougar's right on them. They're neck and neck all the way through the first stretch. And uh, looks like Jimmy's trying to slam some door right there. And we know that Jaguar is not below doing a little bit of dirty driving and sometimes rubbing is racing folks you gotta do a little bumping around and every now and then you gotta have a couple of words it seems right here i don't know these guys are talking about barbecue or what's going on there but either way that'll stop right in that track to have a little chat and then down over top of the line looks like they're both bumping into each other but it's going to be jimmy and that jaguar is going to be over top of the line first he gets race number one and so it's one and all race two here we go, folks. We got the lane switch going on. We got the Cougar lane number one. Jaguar's on the inside lane number two, and there they are. Neck and neck down the first stretch. Jaguar's up on two wheels, and he's still going this time. We got Lebonim. He's way out in front, and he's holding on to it. They both cut that clean, sliding over top of the line with a beautiful little drift right there. It's Lebonim. He gets race number two. All right, we are going to a third race. That's beautiful when that happens. That's a great-looking casting. Check that thing out. And then we got the Jaguar. That thing is just 
been unbeatable. We are still looking for somebody that's going to take him down. And now we've got Lobotomy in that Cougar. He's going to get a chance. Taking it down to race number three. Let's go check out some jump cam on that. I bet you we got them both for sure. Cougar's coming down at 17 centimeters. Front wheel touch. It's beautiful. Jaguar's coming through. 17 centimeters. They both nail the same distance on the jump cam. Yeah, these guys are definitely out for blood on this one. Neck and neck coming down off the front stretch. Look at that. They're just going and we got, uh, looks like Jimmy's getting pushed up on the rail a little bit. Pushes back. Tries to get lobotomy sideways. It doesn't work. They're still both flying down over top of the jump cam. Cutting a beautiful line. Both of them do it and it's going to be Lobotomy, the Cougar, sliding over top of the line. He gets race number two, and he gets a big bump from Jimmy at the end right there just to let him know that he's still there. They're still bumping around with each other. This is some good, solid, tight racing, folks. Going to race number three for the mainline review. Lobotomy takes this one. It's now one apiece. That's awesome. All right. Race three. Here it is, folks. We've been waiting for this one. It's race number three in between the Cougar and the Jaguar. We've been waiting for somebody to get a shot at this Jag. And here he goes. And so far, it's Lobotomy. It's out front. Coming into the 3D block maker corner. He comes around. He overcooked it. It looks like it's going to be the Jaguar over the top. It was Jimmy Pinkeye that was able to get over top of Lobotomy coming through the 3D block maker corner. That was insane. That was Lobotomy all the way down through the jump, all the way through the first three quarters of the track and just coming in. Looks like he was going to pull an excellent drift and it looks like Jimmy just might have tipped the back bumper, made sure he kept his nose planted on the inside and was able to get all the way around the long way. Jump cam, we got the Mercury coming down 16 centimeters and the Jaguar pulling a couple more at 19 centimeters. All right, going down to the Igloo replay. Let's see how this unfolded. Coming down the main stretch, they are neck and neck just like last time. And then Jimmy gets a little rub and then he rubs back and it's going to be the bottom. He gets a little sideways and then pulls out and he's almost green in distance. He's getting through it and then just tries to pull a drift through the 3D bomb maker corner right there. You can see Jimmy just gets up on his bumper, shoves his nose into the inside rail, goes around the outside and takes the win. Man, if he's not fast enough, you've got to plan it. you got to be strategic. you got to bump at the right times and that's what the Jaguar did. Jimmy Pink Guy gets it. Two to the one. Race number three and remains the main line review champ there he is jimmy pink eye in the xj220 the jaguar eight times winner now what is it going to take to take this jaguar down then we've got lobotomy and the mercury cougar one of the best efforts we've seen in a long time and big mike thanks for coming out all right folks there it is there's their main line review champ still on the top of the pedestal love every second all right don't forget to like and subscribe down there. And there's also that super thanks option. We really appreciate that. But we really appreciate all you good folks for coming out and checking out our stuff from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We will see you next time.